Okay, so to restart, go to this URL. Um, here you find all the Steamworks documentation and also the downloads, the latest version of the SDK. Just click here, you should download it. You might need to register for an account, should be easy enough. Um, extract that and then you see there's a lot of files, but you don't need most of those. You just need the public ones, which uh, has the had C++ had this for the Steamworks integration. Um, so just grab that, control C that, and let's paste that on the project source code folder. Um, I like naming it with a capital letter so it aligns with the code standards from a real engine. And you'll be tempted to add this manually and then add a filter and add all the files manually. This is not necessary. Uh, what you want to do is close the solution and go to the project uh, file or the real engine project file. Right click that and generate a new, uh, new project files. So a real engine solution generator will detect the new files and it will generate a solution that is comprised of those files for you. So there's no need to do some hacky ways around it. And just after generating the, the, the solution, now just open it and you should have the Steam folder with all the header files in it. No, no hacky ways necessary. Um, and with the header files, basically they're already there, like you can actually use them. So let's try using one of them. And you notice a bunch of problems. Let me first compile the project and you see like we're not using those files, we're not building those files, so they shouldn't affect our solution, our game project at all. So you see they'll build just fine. Awesome. But if I go ahead and try using one of those files, um, I'm going to paste a bunch of code here, but don't worry. Uh, just pause the video if you need to check some of the source code. I'm going to also leave a GitHub link for all the source code used here. So if I try building that, and you have lots of problems. Um, and this is why most people kind of give up building Steamworks uh, source code uh, uh, alone, is that uh, you get a lot of uh, warnings, you have a lot of problems, and I'm going to show them. So the first one, you saw that it will show a lot of loads of warnings about unsafe functions, and, and this is the Steamworks SDK uh, code, and we can't do much about it. So what you want to do is you got to disable those warnings and easy enough. There you go. Um, you just disable the warning. Uh, it, it, it is probably going to safe method, but I do believe Valve thought about it and it's probably a faster method that is uh, being used safely. So if, it, if we build that now, you'll see there's no warning messages anymore. Um, that's really good. But now let's see if that runs F5. Let's open the project. This project, by the way, is just a plain third-person template from Unreal Engine C++. has nothing uh, anymore in it. I'm adding stuff as we do here, the tutorial. Okay, and we got it. Everything works fine. We got it. We actually linked successfully the library. Good. Let me close that. Good. Close that here. Awesome. Okay. Um, so now let's try using some uh, code from this. So I'm first gonna create a begin play method. Here it is. Okay, I'm gonna generate a begin play method so we can start interacting with the Steamworks SDK. Okay, uh, let me see one thing. Uh, this is gonna fail. Let's get the definition on it. Okay. So we have no definition, let's create one for you. Okay, so what I'm doing here, uh, I actually gonna need uh, the ID of the Steam project. And I'm gonna work step by step, what is all this that I'm adding? There you go. Okay, so the first thing is your, your app on Steam has an ID. And this is basically the game identifier. And this is a way of telling Steam, oh, this is the game that is running right now. When you create your game, you will receive such ID and you should replace that with this ID you receive. 480 is actually a template kind of sample project from Valve. So just use it freely. It's open for you to use, it's fine. Uh, so first I'm defining a constant here. This is necessary, I'm gonna show you uh, in a bit. 
and then as just a string. And I'm also uh, declaring it as just a, a raw string, right? Just an actual token. And I'm also declaring a const static const expression. So we have this as a power pointer, regular C, C++ kind of style. And this is necessary because Steam needs a file called steam underscore app ID dot txt with the app ID written in it. It's a super simple file, it just has 480 in it and, and that's it. And this will instruct Steam again on your app ID. So that's why we, we need to declare in multiple ways. There are other ways as well. You have to pass in to this function, which is Steamworks has a lot of C style functions. So you need an int and to use the int conversion function, you need an actual char pointer. So that's why I create both here. And this, those are basically the same. So you, you only have to change in one place, but they have different memory layouts and different compilations, strategies and whatnot. So here you go. And here I'm using a function, uh, which is a little bit unusual. Uh, I'm basically saving a file with the string of 480 called that. Um, and this will make sure that like, um, to be better safe than sorry, that this file will always exist. You can always create this file previously, but I don't know, this file got corrupted, you forgot to include it. Here you go. It's created on the beginning play. It's a super fast operation and it's going to work every time. Um, so let's try running that. Let's see what, how he reacts. Mm -hmm. So we started having problems and this is cause we are using function that the C++ compiler doesn't know where it's defined. It is declared in the .h files from Steam. You see here, like this is the location, this is the function. It is declared, but not defined. We don't have the definition of the function. And the way to get the definition of the function in is if we go to the build of the build.cs, which is basically a file that tells Unreal Engine how to build your project. And we actually have to include the Steam uh, library. So let's do that. Uh, the library is basically a collection of function definitions that will actually link to that to a DLL dynamic library, which actually has the actual code from Steamworks. Uh, this is kind of a wrapper, kind of a binding from the function declaration to the function definition to the DLL. So here we go, we are in that. Path uh, requires uh, the system.io, so include that here. Uh, that way we're basically combining the module directory, which is a variable that exists here in this function from uh, the c -sharp build file. And then we are adding Steam with a capital S, and then lib, and then this file here. Uh, this file doesn't come uh, default, we, you need to edit. So go to Steamworks, uh, the download you just made, go to redistributed ribbon, Windows 64, copy the DLL file and the lib file. I like copying both, but you can just copy the .lib file and then paste it here on the lib. So basically what I'm telling uh, Unreal Engine is, um, add, so add an additional library, a public additional library located at the module directory, which is basically your source, uh, source code kind of directory, then Steam and then lib. So this is basically it. So see like source code, your project, this is the module directory then Steam, lib, and then add this additional public library, steamapi64.lib. And this should enable the build system to find the function definitions for the Steamworks SDK. And this is the actual sauce. This is the trick which I haven't seen on the internet yet. No one cracked this, how to compile the Steamworks SDK on a real engine without using the online subsystem. Okay, good. Okay, we got a compiling project. It works. Awesome, let's hit play. Let's see how that behaves. Let me set a breakpoint and I'm going to spoil a little bit. It won't work yet because we did find, we did the, find, we, we do have the function declarations. We do have the function definitions that binds to the DLL, but we still don't have the DLL yet. So if I hit play and I try that stuff, it goes fine. Okay. So I actually had the DLL in the binary folder. Sorry about that. Let me show you how it's going to play out when you don't have it. So it's here. See, I have this file here already. Uh, Steam API uh, 64 of the all. This doesn't come with the project at all. So let's hit play again. 
And let's try again and you see that it will just crash because it's trying to find the actual function definitions through the .lib file and it's going to fail. See, the project doesn't even open anymore because it's failing to compile and run any runtime link everything. It's failing to link against the function definitions. So at this point, people mostly freak out, like, what do I do now? So this is like, this is why it's so tricky to get a Steamworks SDK running properly. There is a bunch of cryptic messages with really hardcore configuration necessary. And but if you do understand the linking and compiling process of C++ Linear Engine, you can do it. So let's grab this Steam API 64.el file again and just slap it on your project folder binaries, Win64, drop it here and it should be good. Now, if you try running the project, it will find the DLL, it will link the function definitions properly, and it's going to run smoothly. How cool is that? So now, um, as you saw when the file was there, it will actually work just fine, and it's going to return the player ID. Look at that. How cool is that? And I'm going to, again, I'm going to leave a GitHub link with all this code, but this is basically already a type from Steam that is, uh, represents the user ID. Um, so this, with this, you can do a lot of stuff, right? You can retrieve friends lists, you can uh, join lobbies, you can you can do a lot of stuff from here. You can use the whole array of features of the Steamworks differently than what you would have access when you use the online subsystem from Unreal Engine, the built-in solution. So you're going to notice that inside the editor, you don't have the shift tab, so it doesn't actually integrate properly with, uh, with the Steamworks. What you want to do, though, is just run a standalone game. And that will uh, enable you to actually use the whole the whole shenanigans from Steamworks. See, so shift tab, and you have friends. You have Space War is the four eight zero sample project I mentioned from Bob. You can use that just fine. So it's already working. Uh, that's it. You just link the thing properly, include the header, and start using the functions. And now you have an incredible range of functionality that Steamworks exposes to you, and you can use them freely. And if you want to update the Steamworks SDK, just grab the files again, drop it, replace the files, compile. There you go. Get the new DLL, get the new .lib, and you're good to go with a absolutely uh, bleeding edge version of Steamworks SDK instead of having to wait for an update on a real engine that will update the SDK. This is really cool. You also have access to the source code. It's, it's amazing. Um, this also enables you to uh, debug stuff and figure out what's wrong when you launch your game. Like, why is Steam works? Why is this thing not happening? Uh, why is the Steam crashing all the time? So you know there's a file called Steam IP, Steam app ID .txt and whatnot. So this is really cool. I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, you will have a lot of freedom now to use the SteamWorks SDK and a lot of capabilities. And yeah, this is it. Thank you very much, and have a great day.